Hey, um, so I haven't really done this before, but I thought I would make kind of a year-end conclusion sort of video. Um, so, I guess first, the channel. I finished somewhere from 20 to 31 LPs, depending on how you would like to count. Um, my, my personal favorite number within there is 21. I mean, I actually like 22 more as a number, but 21, it's, it's my actual count. Um, so to go over the list, because I wrote them all down on my second monitor over that way, um, Transistor finished on January 3rd, and I actually recorded all of that last year, but the same thing's happening with Axiom Verge. I'm not counting Axiom Verge on this year, so you know, you gotta count it somewhere, right? Um, then on February 2nd was the final episode. Yeah, I'm going by final episodes, by the way. Um, uh, February 2nd, Boktai 2, Solar Boy Django ended. That, that was fun. Um, February 17th was Child of Light. Um, February 19th, I ended Momodora 1 through 3. I'm counting that as one LP. That's why the count could go all the way up to 31, because multi-LPs that I decided don't really count as multiple. Because, I mean, they were, what, like, three episodes on average per game? Um, and they were fun. Then, let's see, ending on March 7th was Mark of the Ninja. It, of course, was not a blind LP, and I, I like that game. I still think it's the best 2D stealth game ever made that I've played. <laughs> Perhaps narrows it down a bit, because I haven't played very many 2D stealth games. But it does it better than Zelda. Okay? <laughs> um, probably because it's a game entirely about stealth and being a ninja. Um, then uh, the last episode of my 1000 video event was April 4th. That thing was a lot of fun. Um, I still haven't done a 100 subscriber event, but, um, maybe I won't. Just because I have, I don't know what I would do. And we're, we're already, like, past 100 by a bit, and it's been, like, two months or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the 1,000 video celebration, I'm counting it as one, but there were nine distinct games involved in it. Each of which was, like, one episode, except Suguri was two episodes. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I like shooters. It was fun. Uh, the next end was April 15th with Flyin'. Good collect-a-thon platformer sort of deal. Just went for any percent. Didn't do all the bonus stuff, but... I feel like that game had a good showing. Um, then, depending on whether you want to count the bonus episode after I really concluded, or just the normal end of the LP, Half Minute Hero, Super Mega Neo Climax Ultimate Boy, ended on either April 30th or May 9th. I guess the way I've ordered this list, I'm counting it as April 30th, but I wrote down both dates. So, uh, yeah, Half Minute Hero is a lot of fun. Starting in January, I'm going to be playing the sequel, because I finished Undertale today. Which we'll get to at the end of the list. Um, and, yeah, the sequel should be fun, too. I, I like it. I've already played through it. If there's ever a Half Minute Hero 3, though, I'm going to blind LP it. But I don't have any hints of that being a thing. If I ever play Boktai 2, that would also be a... Or, not 2. 3. If I ever play Boktai 3, that would also be blind. It was never released in the States, so I never bought it. <laughs> Good reason not to buy it, probably. Um, moving on, Beyond Good and Evil ended on May 1st. I didn't really like that game. I guess that's all I have to say about it. Um, May 25th was the end of Sparkster. Um, still not a fan of that second to final boss with the like punching thing even once i figured it out i just still don't like the fight but overall the game was fun uh didn't take too long played through it legitimately and you know it was, it was sparkster um next thing to end was the lost vikings june 23rd for the final episode that was also a good amount of fun 
Um, yeah, it was it was harder than I expected, but we got through it. <laughs> um, next one to end was Guruman, a monstrous adventure, June twenty sixth. Um, I've never gone back and tried to get the true ending. I just I guess I wasn't interested. Um, July 9th marked the end of East 3. <laughs> that was kind of disappointing, but in a hilarious way. I still intend to play the remake, because the remake is way better. The remake will not be a blind LP, because I've beat it before. Thus, I can declare it to be way better. Although, it's still a little grindy at times. But kind of like in uh, East Origin, which I played, I think, last year. Um... It's like one level up makes a huge difference, and also one equipment upgrade makes a huge difference, so it's got that sort of thing going on, so it'll be very obvious if I'm the wrong level. Uh, let's see, after that... Oh, R-Type 3, the third lightning, ended on July 18th. Uh, I enjoyed that one. It was more R-Type. I seem to remember the f fourth boss... And the fourth level were an issue. That was a little less fun. I mean, whichever level had, like, the lava shoots that were... Bleh. Bleh. That's what I have to say about it. Bleh. But, but we got through it. And, you know, that's always cool. Um, let's see. Next one was Assault Android Cactus, which ended on July 21st. I mean... It wasn't blind. I played through it. It was fun. Um, I think I've mentioned at some point that they actually had a major patch to the game since I finished it. I believe it's in full release now. And they've got um, the second to final boss on 5-4 as a playable character now, and she's pretty fun. Um, yeah. Uh, moving on, Popful Mail. Ended on September 30th. That was also not as good as I had hoped. But it, like... It, was, it wasn't, like, the bad that good that East 3 was. It, it was just, like... Why would you make this game this way? <sighs> anyway. We got through it. It was kind of funny at times, but... Yeah. Um, then, even though it wasn't on my channel, I've listed Kid Icarus, Oct... Ended October 8th, I believe. Um, I mean, you, you can go check that out on Tarquin's channel as part of the NES Timeline series. Um, I don't remember how many episodes it was, but I'd played through K to Chris before. I knew what I was getting in for. And it, it actually went pretty well. Um, I had one recording that I didn't use that was made like months before I did the others. And I just started the game over, and it went much better the second time. Um, let's see. Ending just a little after that was Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. Um, yeah, that, that was hard at the end. The Dracula fight. Also, I, I still don't like that you had to find all the villagers, and a couple were behind hidden walls, and there's, like, no accessory in the game that shows you hidden walls. If there was an accessory for it, I wouldn't have minded at all. I would have just worn the accessory, gone through every level once, found them. Except it wouldn't have been every level, because you do get those screenshots at the end that show you kind of where to go, but not really. So yeah, that was a thing. Um, let's see, next on my list, ending October 31st, was Portal 2 Cooperative Campaign with Lemon Curd Addict 1234. I enjoyed that. Um, still kind of wish the first episode had gone differently, although that wasn't even this year, because there was, like, an entire year hiatus. But, um, yeah, I had needed to verify the integrity of my game cache, because the game kept crashing in episode one. But, um, besides that, it went pretty well, I think. I had fun. Um, after that, uh, Strawberry Cubes, which I decided ended on November 7th. I never beat it. I'm still counting it as part of the 21 LPs of the year, but yeah, that happened. And then of course today, December 19th, Undertale concluded. And 
So yeah, that was the the LPs of 2015 in review. Uh, that took longer than I thought it would. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to talk about each one briefly. Whatever. Um, so next up, uh, I actually wanted to get a little away from the channel and talk about what my New Year's resolutions were, because uh, this is the last recording I'm doing this year. I think I said that at the beginning. The um, Monday and Tuesday episodes of uh, Final Fantasy V and Tobari are already recorded. Um, yeah, New Year's resolutions. That's the subject I was on. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to talk about it on New Year's. And I mean, what what would be the point of talking about it on, like, January 6th or whatever? I don't know when I'm going to be back. Um, let's see. January 1st is, I believe, a Friday, and then I'm still gone until the 3rd. And then I record on Wednesdays and Saturdays, except also Tuesday evenings. So yeah, it, you probably wouldn't be seeing in anything until, like, the 6th. But anyway, um, I had four New Year's resolutions, and I was at least technically successful at all of them depending on how you want to look at things but they were i wanted to become debt free i wanted to prepare for buying a house in 2016 wanted to start exercising regularly and learn python the programming language um so uh, yeah going over those um, in January, I wrote a check, because I already had the money, and I paid off my car, and so I was debt-free. So I became debt-free. And I actually got back into debt, like, one and a half months later, but I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, but you know, technical success, because it was just the verb become, don't have to stay debt-free. <laughs> um... As far as Python goes, I'll skip over the house thing and apparently the exercise thing. Um, that went pretty well. I eventually found a tutorial on Code Academy. I kind of wanted to like code up something useful in Python, but I didn't have any ideas for a thing to write, so I didn't. I guess I, I kind of want to write something to like more automate my moving of videos to the archive folder. But I didn't do that. But I got through the Code Academy tutorial, so I'm counting as a success. You don't often hear about so many successes of New Year's resolutions. So exercise! That's the one everyone fails, right? Well, no! Um, so my goal was fairly unambitious as far as regular exercise. I was looking to get 20 minutes three times a week, unless I'm sick or not at the apartment like on vacation. So, um, near the beginning of the year, I was just jogging place, I'd watch videos, and, you know, jogging place. And, um, after about a month and a half of that, my ankles started bothering me. So for a while, I cut things back to just twice a week. And I decided, you know, we can, we can just back off on the goal a little. It's still regular exercise, it's better for me than not doing it at all. But then, um... After a while of that, I bought this, <laughs> um, the desk cycle. Um, so the reason I have this folding chair is because I wanted to say that I actually sit on this chair as I use it, because it doesn't have wheels, and also, more importantly, it's less deep, so I can have my back against the back and still pedal effectively. I hope the microphone's picking up that well. Probably was. It's a good microphone. Um, so, uh, yeah, the cycling motion, it's less of an impact on my legs, so I started doing that, and that went well. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, 20 minutes. And it, it uses magnets for its resistance, so it's quiet enough that I could still do the whole video watching thing as I'm exercising. So, uh, yeah, I did that, and I hope to keep it up next year. Um... And then, preparing for a house. Um, so, at first I, like, I didn't even know what I would do besides save money. But, you know, I, I, I did research on when I would need to start actually looking for a house. Because I'm, I'm targeting kind of like March, April, May of next year. I don't know precisely when yet. Um, 
there will be a dis disruption in videos, of course, as I'm actually moving. But, um, yeah, I've saved up money. I'm pretty satisfied with the down payment I'm going to be able to make. Um, this month I talked with a realtor and a loan person. And so that's in motion. Everything is, like, moving. And, you know, that's where I wanted to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> success there. But, um... Let's see, I still haven't talked about a thing that I was going to talk about. I can't remember what I said that alluded to it. Oh, it was the getting back into debt. So, um, February was an extremely bad month. <laughs> um, so, in, um, I think it was May of 2014, there was this big hailstorm. And, um, I mean, it did damage to cars, like, a lot of damage. And at first, the insurance company was like, you know, we'll, we'll give you this money and you can repair your car. And um, so I got the glass fixed pretty soon, but there was a lot of body work due to all these like dents and stuff from big hailstorms, like golf ball sized, I mean, like, not huge, but big. Um, so, of course, it being a storm, a lot of cars were damaged, and so I had to wait until I think September before I even had an appointment and then that got pushed back a little and then the car got reevaluated and it was or no the reevaluation happened a little later I think I don't remember precisely when but I got the news in February that my car was actually totaled and I would need to buy a new one <laughs> But that's not the worst part. Um, so, also in February, I realized I had bed bugs. And also in February, at work, um, this isn't really bad news, but um, it was stressful that um, we were transitioning to a new system. Instead of a Java Swing based UI like I'd been working on for uh, like two and a half years, we were switching to a web-based UI, and it was going to use Spring and Hibernate and everything. And I mean, it w it's nice to have the new skills now, but at the time, it's like I'm dealing with this bed bug thing, and I've got to go out to the laundromat an extra time and wash all my stuff, and it's got to be hot. And you know, we're also trying to get a car. And <laughs> uh, so uh, yeah, February was stressful, and of course, the car is where the loan came in. That's the tie-in. I actually could have just paid it off right away and still been debt free, but I was convinced that the interest rate was low enough that I might want to keep the money and like invest it somewhere, or I, I decided that I would put it towards the down payment for my house. I was initially targeting a 10% down payment, I'm now targeting a 20% down payment. So it was kind of good in the end, but um, I don't want to do that month again ever. Um, let's see, I feel like I had one other thing to say on that subject. Um, must not have been important. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, from there, the year proceeded along, I went to work, I did, oh wait, I did have one other piece of thing that happened in February, but it was good news. I got a promotion, I'm no longer a junior software engineer, I'm a software engineer. You know, I got a bonus with that and a raise, and that was nice. <laughs> like, at the time, it was like, well, that's nice, but it's just money, and I'm dealing with all this stuff right now. <laughs> so that was funny. But anyway, moving on, the rest of the year, it was, it was pretty standard. I mean, we had fun. We did LPs. I listed off a bunch of them that I did. And this video is going a long time. Whatever. Keep going. Still hasn't hit my usual video length anyway. I'm actually thinking I might reduce my video length next year though. Maybe more like an average like 25 minutes instead of 30. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, yeah, we, we proceeded along. We we did stuff. I, I went home for Easter, I, you know. And then the next really notable thing is that for the first time in like five years, I actually attended a family reunion in the summer 
because now that I've worked at my company for a while, I've got extra vacation days, so I could afford to take like a week off and, you know, go to Utah for a family reunion. And that was nice. Um, of course, seeing the family was good, but also it was, I ended up staying really close to where um, Bertrudor is, or Hiram. I'm not sure what name I should use for him here because I'm talking about real life. But anyway, that was fun. We played board games, and I found out that the fastest color of car is, in fact, gray. <laughs> Referencing an LP that we watched together. Of um, I, would, I looked up the name earlier. It was like Ivan Iron Man's Off-Road Challenge, something like that. All the words I said are in the title, but I might be missing a word or two, and they might be out of order. I'll try to put a link in the description of this video if you want to see that LP. Also a link to the Kid Icarus one, and you know where to find all the LPs on my channel, so no links there. Um, so yeah, that was fun. We played board games, and he, he taught me a couple games that he made up, and he had some cards that he'd made for one of them, and actually, I guess technically there were cards for two of them. But I don't really think of it as a card game, because it was mostly about mini games like Jenga and memory and stuff. Um, so let's see. And then after the family reunion, nothing notable happened that I haven't already talked about. Oh, actually, <laughs> it's not about the family reunion, but I thought of it because um, I brought my exercise device along... Not all the way to the Utah, but as I drove to my parents it, before we all left together to go to Utah, I brought my exercise machine along so my grandfather could try it. And I just wanted to mention, I actually didn't have to pay for that because, um, well, I did, but I got paid back because of my company wellness program. So that was pretty awesome. I got the wellness reimbursement. So, you know, free exercise device that doesn't bother my legs to use. Besides the normal bothering that happens when you exercise your legs. You know. The, the exercise sort. <laughs> that was quite possibly the worst way of expressing what I had to say. That still works. Hopefully it works. But anyway, enough about this year. Uh, next year, I have some new goals. And I thought I would talk about them. So, um... I'm of course gonna buy the house. I wrote that down. It's still gonna happen. <laughs> um, so that, that's a simple one. Nothing more to say there. But it's a big one. But it's a simple one. Um, or at least it's simple to say. It will be a little more complicated to actually do. Um, next one I have written down is another real life sort of goal. I'm gonna set my 401k contribution to 15%. It's probably the most boring thing I wrote down on this list. It's already at 14%, so it's not going to be a big change. Um, moving on. Um, I want to start actually like getting into making Super Mario Bros. X levels. I don't know how many I'm going to make. I don't expect they'll be like amazing or anything. Probably won't even like release them. But it's something I'm going to start doing in order to prepare for if there's a contest in 2017. I'm not going to try to enter anything going on in 2016 because I'm going to be busy with a house. Or busy trying to get a house, rather. Um, but you know, I have some sub goals. I intend to make at least 12 total levels. I said that Mario Maker levels count as half. And I have a set of titles I want to use because the Make a Good Level Contest X has a title gimmick. And I'm going to choose an easy title so. It should be something that sounds like really generic. So the, the names that I wrote down that I'm definitely going to use are Mountain, Forest, Ocean, Sky, Cave, Ghost House, Plains, and Lake. So if I do make all the levels, I'm going to probably at least show them on my channel, maybe. If I think they're even worth that. <laughs> we'll see. Um... Let's see. Also, I want to start speedrunning Valdis' story. It, I'll be kind of casual about my speedrunniness. I know that's kind of an oxymoron, casually speedrun. But I don't plan on, like, super dedicating to it. Just, like, moderate dedicated. 
Um, my particular sub goals are I want to submit a run to speedrun.com, go through whatever that process is, get on the leaderboard, even if it's not number one. Although right now it would be because the Valdez story leaderboard is blank. Perhaps because of patch 1.0.0.25. Or at least like four weeks ago when I looked it was blank. Maybe it's not blank anymore. But I was checking it like periodically for a while and it was staying blank. But anyway, I want to do that. I want to have at least 30 finished runs and I want Valdez Story to become my most played game on Steam, besides any, like, not real games. Like, I've been playing a lot of Time Clickers recently. If it's still below Time Clickers, that's like, well, Valdez Story is below all the time I spend watching YouTube and <laughs> uh, Twitch and eating and, <laughs> you know, there's so much you can do alongside playing Time Clickers because it's a clicker game. I don't actually just sit down and play time clickers, so I, it counts differently, okay? Um, let's see. Also, um, one final goal. I want to um, finish at least as many games as I obtain. And, I mean, anybody on Steam, or anybody who's used Steam for more than half a year, let's say, knows that it is very easy to build up a backlog and to just buy more games than you're capable of finishing. So, I mean, I'm not making this goal because I want to say, well, I'm going to start playing even more games. Um, it's more a matter of the discipline to not even buy the games that you're not going to play. So it's kind of a more valid resolution than saying, I'm going to play more video games. Because, <laughs> you know, you know. Um, I mean, similar with Super Mario Bros. X, I mean, it's it's a game, but level design is work, okay? <laughs> I've tried it in Super Mario Maker. It, it, it's work. Um, running Valdez Story is probably also a pretty good amount of, like, dedicated effort, so it kind of makes sense as a goal. It's, e even if I'm casually speedrun, it's, I mean, it's still speedrunning, right? Well... Um, I mean, I don't really have a hard goal for the time that I want to hit, but I'm hoping to save at least eight minutes off my previous preliminary run, um, because that was a uh, one hour 23 for normal mode, any percent, and so I'm hoping to at least get to an hour 15. I think I can actually save eight minutes on just the final two bosses <laughs> if I first try both of them. But it's it's hard to do when you don't have like upgraded spells and stuff. <laughs> that's the challenge. So that's everything I wanted to cover. I guess I could <laughs> talk about all the rules lawyering that I went on already for finishing at least as many games as I get. Um, Cause I wrote down all these details like a game is considered to be gotten the year it is paid for, or if it is free the year it is downloaded. <laughs> um, that mostly makes sense with like Kickstarter stuff, because the goal is about the decisions I make next year. So I don't want like random Kickstarter things from previous years to count, because like the fate was already locked in. Um, however, if I if I support a game in 2016, even though I can't play it, it counts against the game's obtained counter. Um, also, gifts count, but. I'm allowed to set some arbitrary limit on that eventually. Like, if I'm given like 20 games and I don't finish all of them, I'm not sure that all 20, you know. Plus, there, there'll be that like December flood of games for Christmas, probably. Maybe I'll set a cap per time that I'm given stuff. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out gifting later. But they'll count somehow. And, um. Oh, also, I wrote down that if a game has no end, then there's a certain amount of playtime I want to hit based on how much I spent on it, or if it was free, just, like, a couple hours. Unless it's bad. No, I should even play the bad ones. Just for long enough to say that I gave it an honest shot. Alright, this is half an hour of me talking and no video games, so that's, that's gotta be enough. <laughs> uh, see you next year.